Hey everybody, welcome back with a new video. In today's episode, I am going to show you how to fake high dynamic range in your footage to get some pretty nice results. Let's jump in right after the intro. So what is dynamic range? Well, dynamic range basically is the difference between the lightest and the darkest parts of your video. If you're shooting outdoors, it can happen that the sky is perfectly exposed while the ground is a very dark blob. There are some techniques to combat this, such as sky replacement, but in this video I will be talking about the luminance key effect and masks. Both of these are free in HitFilm Express. Here is an example of a camera's dynamic range. The shot is exposed for the ground and this one for the sky. I also shot a clip of me in the exact same situation. Since we'll be working with a few effects, your shots need to line up to work with. This can either be done with a tripod or with a motorized camera slider if you have one. I create a new composite shot and add in the footage with the sky properly exposed. Next I'll add the grass layer above it. I add a mask around the grass and feather the edge by 5 pixels. This gives me a nice transition. To make it blend in just a little bit more, I add a rectangular mask and set it to subtract. Now I feather this mask a substantial amount, over 300 pixels. Now this mask subtracts from the other mask creating a lovely fade. For a simple shot like this, these steps are all that is needed. However, as seen in the end product, I want to have myself in the shot as well. To do this, I add in the layer of me and apply the luminance key effect. I choose key out brighter which takes out the sky. I now add a mask around my body and feather it slightly and keyframe the path of the mask just a tiny bit to fit around my moving elbows. I also apply the matte cleaner effect to choke the luminance key effect a little. In the shot the legs are missing so I'll add in a second copy of the layer and add a mask with a gigantic feather. This also feathers the transition from grass to sky a little bit. So, this is the breakdown of the shot. I hope that you learned something in this video. This effect was very fun to create and it looks amazing. Now people don't actively recognize good dynamic range, but bad dynamic range can ruin your shot. If you recreate this effect, please drop a link in the comment section below. I'd love to see your creations. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye bye. Hey, thank you so much for watching. You can click on screen to watch some more and click on the other side to subscribe if you haven't already.